Hello everyone, today I will go on to discuss uh, some results in analytical functions. First one, show that an analytical function with constant real part is constant, constant real part is constant. Show that an analytical function with constant real part is constant. So, find the solution. Let f of z equal to u plus i v be an analytic function. Let f is equal to u plus i v be an analytical function. So, all of you know if f is is an analytical function, it satisfies the Cauchy Riemann equations. Then we have, then we have u x is v y and u i is minus v x. Okay. So, let f is equal to u plus i v be an analytical function, then we have u x is v y and u i is minus v x. So, which is given an analytical function with the constant real part, we want to show that an analytical function with the constant real part is constant. That means in this question they given if your function have constant real part. So, given real part of f is is constant. All of you know what is real part of f is all of you know u is constant, correct? Since u is constant, we know dou u by dou x is 0 and dou u by dou y is 0, okay? Since u is constant, we know dou u by dou x is 0 and dou u by dou y is 0. So, since dou u by dou x is 0 and u x is v y, we get v y is 0 and dou u by dou y is 0 and v u y is minus v x, we know minus v x is 0. So, in comparing this with this condition, we get v x is 0 and v y is also 0, correct? So, since u x is 0, we get v y is 0, since u y is 0, we get minus v x is 0, that is we get v x and v y is 0. So, we, they give one u is constants and we get v x is 0 and v y is 0. So, since v x is 0, v y is 0, all of you know what is that? v is a constant. So, so, they give one u is constant, but we get v is constant. What is your function? Function is u plus iv. That is why it is very simple. F is it is some constants plus i into constants that is a constant. So, which implies f is equal to constants plus i into constants that is a constant. Okay. So, we get the result an analytical function with the constant real part is constant. So, this is the first result in your uh, in the section analytical functions. And on the second result, listen here, just I know this and I move to the second result, show that an analytical function with the constant imaginary part is constant. So what is that constant? Imaginary part is constant. The so proof is similar way. So let them start f is is u plus i v is analytical function. And then we know the uh, Cauchy Riemann equations ux is v y and u y is minus v x. And in this question, instead of real of f z, they given what imaginary part of f z is constant. So try to just replace here by what imaginary part of f z. And all of you know imaginary part of f z is v. So since v is zero, v is constants. Since v is constants, all of you know v x and v y are zeros. V x and v y are zeros. Since v x is zero, applying this, we get u y is zero. Since v y is zero we get u x is 0, that is why reversely here we get u x is 0 and u y is 0, that is why u is constants and on the same pattern they given v is 0, v is constants and we get u is constants that way this function makes f is z as c plus i, so that is like once again constants. This is the proof of the second one. And I move to the next uh, third result, show that an analytical function with the constant modulus is constant. So, it is a very important question. Show that an analytical function with the constant modulus is constant. How will you show that? The same pattern, same pattern. Let them uh, write left is right, let f is right equal to u plus, this, since this is to be given your function is analytical function. So, let them start f is right is u plus i v b an analytical function, then all of you know u x is v y and u y is minus v x is the condition and instead of imaginary f is that in this particular problem they given what? Modulus of 
modulus of f z is constant correct so what is modulus of f z i will erase this so we know what is modulus of f z this is just mod f z mod of z is constants and all of you know mod of z is mod of u plus iv that is constants which implies we get root of u square plus v square all of you know mod of a plus iv is root of a square plus b square that's why mod of u plus iv is root of u square plus v square that is constants so which implies we get u square plus v square is constant square so we get an equation so what is our aim our aim is what show that an analytical function with constant modulus is constant. So, for getting that, differentiating equation number 1 with respect to x, that's, these are the two steps here. Differentiating equation number 1 partially with respect to x. What happened? Differentiate equation number 1 partially with respect to x, we get 2u ux plus 2v, vx is 0. That means simply it is never 2 is 0. So we know u x plus v v x is 0. This is the second equation. Okay. The same manner, differentiate equation number 1 partially with respect to y. Differentiating equation number 1 partially with respect to y. What happened? We know 2 u u y plus 2 v v y is 0, which implies u ui plus v vy is 0 this is the formula number 3 everyone got it okay so the way is they given f is u we know f is u plus iv and we have kosher Riemann equation satisfied since the function is analytical they given modulus of f is constants but we want to make, create what function itself is constants so we know mod of z is that we get an equation and differentiating that equations with respect to x and y we get the formula number 2 and 3 the next step is from 2, from 2, all of you know what is u by v, u by v is, everyone know it is minus vx by ux, correct? And from 3, what happened? From 3, from 3, what is from 3? ux, u by v, all of you know u by v is what? Minus v by, vy by what? ui, correct? From 2, we get u by v is minus vx by ux and from 3 we get u by v is minus vy by ui. So, I will write the balance here. See here. So, please listen here. On comparing these two, what happens? Since both the left side are same, we have the right side also equal. So, minus vx by ux is minus vy by ui that is simply vx by ux is equal to vy by vy by ui and what is we know we know ux is same as what vy and ui is same as minus vx so replacing vx by what here just replacing vx by minus ui here just replacing vx by some students are completely converting this in forms of every time in v some others converting every time in u but here i have here i converting all the terms are in terms of v by using this criteria so vx is all of you know it is minus ui by ux here and we know vy is what vy is ux ux by ui so that's why uh, when we move to right we get ux the whole square plus ui the whole square we get an equation less like that ux the whole square plus ui the whole square ux the whole square plus ui the whole square is 0 okay so if we get ux plus square plus ui square is 0 how what is the conclusion sum of the squares with two terms is 0 means what each term have each term is 0 so that's why we get a balance i'll write the balance which implies we get ux is 0 since sum of the squares are two times is 0 means each term is 0 so ux is 0 ui is 0 which implies u is constant correct so what is your conclusion what's your first result every analytical function with the constant real part is constant so the proof of this is simple so write it therefore we get an analytical function with the constant modulus is also 
constants by just applying the first result okay so next one more result here so many results here next one is four to one the problem is show that an analytical function with the constant argument constant arguments instead of modulus another question is we want to show that an analytical function with the constant argument is constant so how we prove this the way is So let them start with the proof solution. Here also your function is analytical. So write it let f is equal to u plus i v is analytic, which implies we know what's the condition u x is v y and u y is minus v x by Cauchy Riemann equations. Okay, so we just given here. An analytical function with the constant argument that is argument of an function is constant. So it is to be given. So given argument of f is it is constant. Given argument of f is it is constant. So it is argument. It is an angle. Okay. Argument of f is it is what we know. Argument of f is it is theta. And in the beginning session we have stated about theta is tan inverse. V by u argument is an angle. Angle is theta. That is tan inverse of v by u. Since your function is u plus iv, that's constant. Correct. So from that we can get tan inverse v by u is constant. Simply is what v by u is tan c. Okay, tan of a constant. So I'll take this tan c as a new constant k, which implies v by u equal to a k. What is k here? I'll write, I'll write k for only uh, just notating tan c. Which implies we get a formula v equal to ku. Mark it as equation number one. And as in the previous question, here also we try to find out the two equations by differentiating equation number one partially with respect to x and partially with respect to y. So the procedure is I will discuss here differentiating equation number one partially with respect to x. What happened? V x is ku x. Equation number two. Differentiating equation number one partially with respect to y, v y is k u y. From equation number three, okay. From two, we know k is what v x by u x, and from three, we know k is v y by u y. On comparing two and three, we get v x by u x is same as v y by u y. This is quite similar with the one of the steps in this previous proof. Just same, similar. Just converting every term in, uh, uh, in instead of u or v by using this uh, requirement. So here we get what some students are v x is what v x is we know which is minus u y by u x is same as v y is what v y is u x by u y. Just here also we get u x the whole square plus. As, this, as similar with the same problem in the previous, we get u x square plus u i square is what? Zero. Here are same. Sum of the squares are two times zero means each term is zero, which implies we get u x is zero, u i is zero, which implies u is constants. Hence, by the proof of the first one, which is the first point we already stated about that every analytical function with the constant real part is constant. So here also we get an analytical function with the constant argument is also constants.